Physican confirms that Detective Conan's Kogoro will not survive Conan's Tangan. In the Detective Conan anime and manga series, Detective Kogoro Mori usually takes credit for Conan's deductions. Conan uses his Tangan wristwatch to shoot a tranquilizer shot at the Kogoro and pretends to speak in his voice after he was being knocked out. Long-time detective Conan fan Yamato Nishikido has always wondered whether Kogoro could actually survive after getting hit with a tranquilizer so many times. The tranquilizer is described as strong enough to knock out an elephant and consensually snacks an adult man for 30 minutes at a time. Nishikido read that entire 95 volume manga, which apparently takes place over the span of a year, and find that Kogoro gets shot exactly 50 times. He then approach an anesth anesthesiologist named Kapi Matsumoto, who was also supervises the anesthesiologist Hanamanga, and asks him several questions. Does the tranquilizer strong enough to knock out an elephant for 30 minutes really exist? Matsumoto said yes. However, he clarified that it would take one liter of ketamine to knock out an elephant, but only 10 cubic centimeters, a bottle, would knock out an adult male. If Kogoro got shot with a liter of ketamine, what would happen to him? Matsumoto answered blunt, he died. Matsumoto also pointed out that every time Kogoro gets hit with a needle from the, stun, from the stun gun, the needle will remain in his body, even if the tranquilizers don't kill him, and end up like, like a porcupine. Furthermore, even if the dosage were appropriate, Kogoro will die if the needles enter his hepatic artery, his heart, or his head. While he was it, at it, Matsumoto pointed out further in accuracies with the aesthetic. An aesthetics depicted on Detective Conan and TV show in general. It is not possible to make someone instantly go to sleep if you make them smell a handkerchief with chloroform smear in it. The most it will do is make them sneeze or give them a headache. It will only be possible to make someone sleep if you smear the chloroform on a towel, put it up the person's mouth and nose, and then left them at that state for several minutes. Oh no, uh, it wasn't an answer Nishikido was expecting. Matsumoto apologized for exposing these plus devices as scientific and, and accuracies. When everyone hears about this, they get disappointed. I'm kind of sorry. Nishikido's article was published on Faminers, a website that shares sleeping tips and the science behind sleeping.